So some people have been having issues on downloading the parts and opening them in Autodesk Inventor. So the first thing you're going to do is go to this link, uh, the first link, join the education community, and you just click on that and fill out all Autodesk stuff. Then when you're registered, go ahead and hit free software, which will bring you to this page. And you'll download Autodesk Inventor Professional, select your version, your language, and your operating system. Then hit next, and you'll go finish downloading that and install it. That takes a while, so we'll go on. Uh, now you need to download the kit of parts, so the second page will bring you to this. Uh, right now, there's no download for the FTC 2012 kit of parts. It should be right under this. Uh, so we're just going to go to Archive and download the 2011, okay, 2010 FTC kit of parts. Uh, so if we go ahead and download that and save it somewhere. Okay, now that you've downloaded and installed Autodesk Inventor Professional and have downloaded the lists or the kit of parts, next we're going to open them. So go ahead and open. And we have in our downloads, this is FTC 2010. Uh, we want the FTC parts. Now notice that none show up. This is because Autodesk Inventor um, standard is to look for its own parts. We want to change that to look for all files. Now it'll see the files that we couldn't see before. So we'll go ahead and open one of these. Just double click. Now after it finishes opening, you'll end up with some window like this. And you know, there's some ugly planes here we don't really want. So let's go ahead and hide some of that. So here we go. We have three planes here we don't want to see. We'll just right click on those and say visibility so we can't see them anymore. And then there's all those little lines in the middle. We'll get rid of those too. So I just use shift there and get rid of the visibility. So now here's our part and for the most part it's good. So we'll go ahead and save this. So we're going to save as. Now it's a .ipt. And you can choose the folder you want to save it in. I'll just save it in the same folder. So apparently we need to change the name on this. You cannot give a document the same name as an open document. So we'll just go ahead and change this. Put a space in there. Okay, and that is how you convert the um, Pro Engineer files into Autodesk files that you can use later. And you'll just continue that. You have to do that process for all of your files, but it does take a lot less time than trying to build the pieces. I know because I did.